Hey everyone, my name is Andre and welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna share with you the WordPress starter team that I am using and this starter team is one that I have developed and as you can see here on the screen, it's a really minimal one, it's a basically a bare bones starter team. So without any further ado, let me guide you through the installation process and show you how to use it. Now obviously, the first thing that you have to do is to install WordPress on your local machine. So I, I'm using local by Flywheel. Here I have an installation for it. Okay, now let's open the code editor. I'm using VS Code and uh, let's go to the Teams folder. Let's navigate through the terminal to the Teams folder. And here I'll write a git command to clone the repository. Now the team is downloading and it has finished actually. So let's navigate into the team. Not there, but here. So let me show you around the files. Here we have the most important file in this team, in my opinion, is the gulp file. If you don't know about Gulp, this is basically a task runner. It does, it's compiling the JavaScript, it's compiling the SCSS, it's minimizing this, the CSS and also the JavaScript, and it's doing a lot of stuff in the background. And also, you can see here that I'm using Browser Sync. It's launching a server, a local server, and when I make modifications to my team, the browser will refresh. And it's really cool, it saves you a lot of time. Okay, the first thing that you have to do is change the proxy domain. At the moment it's put to abrindas.local, but as you can see here, my website, it's new site.local, so I'm gonna change it here. Okay, I forgot to mention that in order to run this team, you need to have Node.js installed and the Gulp CLI. You can download Node.js from their official website, and also you can go to gulpjs.com to see how to install Gulp CLI on your machine. So let's go back to the team. Now we need to run npm install. And now npm will do its magic and install all the dependencies that we need. Okay, now it seems that npm has finished. Now, before we go into how to run this team, I want to show you a bit, little bit around the file structure. The first thing that you need to know is that all the assets go into the src folder. In the images, you will put images, obviously. In the JavaScript, you will put your JavaScript, again, obviously. Now, if you want to run some JavaScript only on the admin side of, the, of WordPress, you're gonna write the code here in admin.js. If not, if you want to run it on the front end, uh, it will be a little bit more complex. So. Here we have the components, the components folder. And in this folder, you will be putting different JavaScript files for different functionality and different pages and however you like. For example, here I have a slider JS and this file is imported into the bundle.js. You can see here that we are import importing from, com from the components folder, the slider file. Okay, the same thing goes from, for CSS, I mean SCSS. We have the admin SCSS and the bundle SCSS. Here we have some styles. Let me delete this and this one too. And as you can see here, we are importing again from the components folder. And in this folder, the way I like to structure my SCSS is each file, each page has its own file. So if I am developing uh, the front page, I will write the SCSS in a file called SCSS. Okay. Now, in the SRC folder are, are all your raw assets, if I can say that. In the dist folder or distribution folder, how you want to call it, uh, are the compiled assets. Here we have the CSS for admin and uh, front side. We have the images, we have the JavaScript for admin and from bundle. Now, you don't have to work into these files. The Gulp extension will do all the work for you. Now, here you can see the ink file. And this is how I like to structure my PHP code. If we go to the functions.php file, you can see that in this file, we are requiring the enqueue.php from the inc folder. 
because if you put all your functions all your custom functionality of your wordpress team in one file it's gonna get messy really soon so i like to have separate files for separate functionality so for example you can see that in the inq.php i inq my uh, my assets namely the css and the javascript well for example let's say i want to make a custom function i'm going to go to the ink folder create a new file and name it custom.php and in this one let's make a function okay here we, we've made the function and now in the function.php file I'm, i will add the custom function.php file to this array and now this for each loop will look into the this array, this array and will require all the files into this one okay now let's start let's run gulp in order to run it we will have to run the gulp command if you go to the package.json you can see the scripts we have a start script that will watch for changes and will also reload the browser and we have a build script uh, this one gulp build dash dash prod will compile all your assets will minify the javascript and the css and will make you basically a theme that can be installed on any website so let's run gulp and you can see here is the theme and this yellow is just killing my eyes so i will go and change it it's in this file so let's go a little well you, you can see that the browser sync is running and it's changing the files so let's make a quick recap firstly you need to have installed node.js and the gulp cli on your machine then you have to clone the repository this with from this link i'm gonna put a link in the description of this video then you have to run npm install and in the gulp file you need to put on the proxy server your local domain so this is all for today i hope you will find this useful it's it saves me a lot of time uh, i i know it is really bare bones it's really minimal uh, but in the future i will make it more complete i guess but you feel free to use it feel free to do whatever you want with this thing thanks a lot for watching if you found this video useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe see you next time